Hey guys, today we're looking at Biteable. It is a video creator platform that lets you create simple videos using templates or from scratch. I want you to know this video is not sponsored. I didn't pay for this though myself because Biteable lets you try everything in here for free. So I'm on like the free trial version and that's already off to a good start because I hate when things are blocked behind a paywall. In Biteable, you can really see what you're getting before you commit to purchasing it. So that's what we're looking at today. Let's just dive right into it. Okay, here we are on the Biteable site. Now, here are all the templates that you can use to create your videos and you can preview them just by hovering your mouse over each of these templates and they come in uh, 16 by nine aspect ratios, vertical videos, square videos, all the different formats you would need in today's technological social media landscape. Let's just pick this template here just to play around with. And let's take a good look at what it looks like. So you can see that it's a pretty simple animation. We've got this orange and green theme here, and there's all of these characters included in this video as well as moving text. All right, so let's say we're gonna go forward with this template. I'm gonna hit edit this video. And let's take a quick tour of the interface. Here on the left is where I can add different elements and change the style of all of my scenes overall. This brings me to my timeline and my main editing window. And then of course there is the export button. Let's go back to edit and take a closer look at this screen. Over here on the right, um, because we're highlighted on our text here in the center of our canvas, over here on the right, we are looking at the menu for all of our font options and we'll get more into that. And then down here at the bottom of the screen is our timeline. So these are the individual scenes that make up our entire video. So I am eventually gonna make a video from scratch just to show you how to really build one, but I do wanna show you a few things in this template. So first and foremost, we know that this is a template for healthcare. You can tell by the text, which we can change. And you can especially tell by this heart with a cross shape here as well, that this is definitely a healthcare template. Let's say we wanted to change the colors of this template to start. Let's head on over to style on the left side of the screen. Now, if we wanted to change these backgrounds to a different color, we could select this background circle. And let's say we go with something more like a mauve and that changes all the colors of all of our backgrounds. And for the animation colors, we could pick something totally different. And for a secondary color, we could do something even more different. For our ribbon colors, which is these text background colors, we could assign that to something else as well. Okay, now you may have noticed in the original template, some of the backgrounds were orange, some of them were green. We can actually individually select the different backgrounds and make some of these a second color as well. So they don't all have to be the same color. This is a nice shortcut though, if you wanna cut out some of the work here. All right, let's head on down to the edit tab. So we get our timeline. Let me just show you really quick. You can modify this text just by selecting it and we'll just, change the text, why not? Once we're selected on our text, you can see here that we can change the ribbon color. The ribbon is the background of this text. Let's just make it white. And then what I really wanna show you about this template is if we select this animation here, this heart with this cross, we can select replace background. And let's head on over to cheerful icons and let's pick something completely different. Let's pick let's say this credit card. And I can play this individual scene by being selected on it down here in my timeline and then hitting this little play button here on the side of my canvas. So what I love about these templates in Biteable is that unlike in other platforms, if you generally like the motion and the look of a certain template, but it's kind of already been pre-programmed to be for a particular industry, like in this case it was healthcare, we could make it more of a retail template by changing the animating elements 
and replacing them in the template. So just when you're looking at templates in Biteable, if it feels like healthcare, that's okay. You can change it. If you like the way things move, you like the way the text and everything comes in. So for the templates on Biteable, I do like them. I think they're really flexible. So that's generally how you could work with templates. You would just click scene by scene and replace elements and change the text as you see fit. But let's go back and start from scratch. So I'm going to select the Biteable logo here at the top left of the screen and let's start with an empty video. I'm going to name our video Biteable Sample and we can change the dimensions of our video here. Let's do a square Instagram kind of look. Now I do want to draw your attention. I can add a custom watermark, which would be like my logo burned into the corner of my entire video. That's probably a really common effect that you see. You can't do that on the free version. So just know that. Um, but once you upgrade and you start paying for Biteable, that is something you can do. All right. So I'm going to hit continue. And now I want to show you all of the elements that we can add. There are so many cute looking, pages that we can start building our video with for diverse workplace. There's 180 choices. And again, you can customize the background color in here. You can customize the font. I mean, there's a lot of choices here. Let's go back over to animation and look at a couple more. There are these clay explainers. They're like claymation. But with these claymation videos, you really can't customize the color of anything but the text. The background is, is what it is with these claymations, but I do think these are pretty cool. Let's look at a few others. These fancy elements ones are also really neat looking, but they're not as customizable. And then they have these kind of cartoon style videos with different scenarios. but I'm going to start fresh with a live action video. So I'm going to select videos and images here in our scenes window, and I can click over to still images, but I don't want that. I'm trying to make a video, right? One thing I can say about Biteable is that their stock video library is pretty extensive and the stock shots are really good. There's definitely a lot to dig through here. Now, if you look at this screen, it kind of categorizes them for you, but I just like to go right over here to the search videos field, and I'm just gonna type in the first kind of shot I'm looking for. And I'm gonna select this woman here. Now to select her and add her to my video, all I have to do is click the thumbnail, and you can see down here in my timeline, there she is. I can continue searching for new shots and keep adding them to my video in sequence. Now this second clock shot has arrived down here in my timeline and let's do one more. Okay, I've picked my three shots that I wanna incorporate into my video. I'm gonna draw my attention to the bottom right of the screen where it says edit video. And let's click on the first scene and start working with this. The first thing I want to do is change my caption. And I want to make some modifications to this text. The first thing I want to do is change the font. So I'm just going to head on over here to text properties, select this drop down, and you guys, there are so many fonts in Biteable. I'm just gonna keep scrolling here and show you how many fonts there are. And guys, while I'm scrolling through all of these fonts, I just wanna remind you that if you're enjoying this video, give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell. Okay, so yeah, there's a lot of fonts here in Biteable. I'm gonna select Bebis New. It's one of my classic favorite fonts. And I can resize the font by hitting this drop down and selecting different values. And I can also grab this text box in my canvas to change the width of the text box so I can get this on two lines instead of three. And then the other thing I can do is change my line height so that the background ribbons behind my text are actually connected. Or if I wanted to give them more space, I can change that line height. I think I want them touching. I also want to change the color 
of this ribbon. Now the font I could also change the color of. It's kind of this pale purple, just a little off white. So let's just mess with the ribbon color. Okay, I think I like this color. Now one thing I do wanna say about the color palette in Biteable that's a bit of a gripe for me is the way that this is set up. This is something I definitely think could be improved upon. I've got all of these colors that I can select from and I also can type in a hex code. So if I knew the specific hex code of a certain color, I could type that right into this field. But there's no like slider or like color graph where I can pick any color. So I think there could be a significant improvement on the way that this is set up. Biteable, if you're watching this review, you gotta do better than this. This to me feels like a cell phone for an old person or a young child that has like four buttons. And then the next step is the hex code, which is like, you know, flying a spaceship. There's nothing in between where I can just slide around on like a color bar and pick the color that I want. And I know that's possible because every other platform does that. All right, I'll get off my soapbox. Let's make one more modification to our text. We can change the way the, the text arrives on the screen. There's not too many choices here. I'm gonna do a slide in with a reveal. So I feel good about my text, but what about the timing of this clip? Let me hit this little play button here by my canvas. All right, that feels a little long to me. So what I can do is select this clip and I can use this little bar to shrink it down. So it's a little shorter. Okay, that feels good to me. Let's move on to our next scene. little shorter too. Let's hit this last shot. If the original stock shot is 16 by nine, but your finished video is only, let's say, one by one square, you can actually reposition the video right here in the canvas, which is kind of nice. Okay, so I've built all of my scenes. If I wanna play this entire video from the start, I hit this big play button here at the bottom left. Okay, that looks pretty good, but I can add a few more elements here. If you hover your mouse between two scenes, you get this little icon here that says scene transition. We can actually change the transition between the scenes. So, you know, by default, they're straight cuts. Let's do a curtain open on this scene. And if I wanna preview it, I just start from my center scene and hit this play button by the side of my canvas. I don't have to play the whole thing from the start. Great, but what I'm noticing is in the time that it takes for my scene transition to happen, the text animation has already come on and you can't even, you can't see the action. So what I can do is select my caption here in my timeline by selecting this top bar and I can actually reduce the length of that text and reposition it so it doesn't come in until later in my shot. Let's preview that. There we go. And now let's hover between the that scene and the next scene. Let's pick this transition and see how that looks. Okay, so let's watch this video right from the beginning. Okay, that was pretty simple, wasn't it? Now I'd like to add some music to this video. So to do that, I'm going to hover my cursor over down at the very bottom of my timeline. If I hover it over this waveform, you see it says choose soundtrack. So we just select that. And these are all the songs that have been pre-licensed for you by Biteable, which isn't really that many, but you can upload your own. I'm just gonna select one here. I can preview it by hitting the play button. And then if I like it, I just, check this little circle and hit the save button here at the bottom. And now it's automatically applied and it's already the length of my existing video, which is about 10 seconds. Let's play this. All right, and if we're ready to export, we're gonna hit this export button here. 
Now, one thing to know if you're on the free version of Biteable is that they do pretty heavily watermark your video. So these little diagonal stripes at the top left and bottom right of the screen, those are gonna be burned into your video. You can't get rid of those. Let's just hit build video. And if you wanted to get rid of those, you need to upgrade. All right, and let's download it. It gives us an MP4. So there you go. You just watched me create a video on Biteable in just minutes. And it really is a simple process. Let me tell you what I like about Biteable. I like how simple it is. I think if you're a person who doesn't want to learn to edit, just wants to be able to plug and play and make some videos real quick, I think you're going to be happy with Biteable. I love that they let you poke around with the free trial and even export videos with the free trial. That to me is like, you know, a great business model because it really shows you the capability of the platform. They're not hiding anything. And I like that very much. I also love how extensive the stock video library on Biteable is. You can find a stock shot for any situation. I think it's really extensive and that's awesome. And I loved how many different font options there were in Biteable. I couldn't believe how many there were. And so A++ on that. What I don't love about Biteable is that their stock music library is pretty small. You know, you'd probably want to, uh, you'd probably run through those, the best cuts of that library pretty quickly. And you may need to like buy a subscription to another uh, music licensing site like Artlist or something like that. So you can bring in your own royalty free cuts because there's just not a lot of them in here. I also don't think there's a lot of wow factor on the effects, whether it be the transitions or the text animations here in Biteable. And there's no like category of overlays. Like you're seeing a lot of these platforms now, they offer like confetti or like sparkles or other kinds of overlays that you can add to your projects. You don't have that with Biteable. It's very, very basic. Um, you may also have noticed that you could only have one track of audio in your videos. So it's either music that you get from their library that you upload to yourself or a voiceover that you upload yourself. There's no text to speech feature in Biteable either. So to me, you know, that's a huge functionality drawback. If you wanted to have music and voiceover, you can't do it in Biteable. So to me, I really think Biteable is only good for someone who just wants like the simplest, most basic things. Um, if you want to be able to get more creative with your videos, I don't think you'd be that happy with this platform. I did a whole roundup on like my best video maker platforms uh, a few weeks back and I will link to that video right here if you want to check it out and see some other options of things I do recommend. So Biteable for me, it's not a thumbs down, but it's definitely not an enthusiastic thumbs up. It's kind of middle of the road. So if you guys liked this review, let me know by giving me a thumbs up. What else do you want me to review? Let me know in the comments, you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you again.